Hello out there. I'm Geronimo. Welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons. Thanks everyone for all the support on episode one. Consider my heart warmed and my spirit motivated. What a crazy week. So, what do we have in store today? Well, since the last episode we've been playing around in a creative copy of the world over on Twitch, getting a feel for the aesthetic style we'll be going for. It's been a super fun week with its own fun new challenges. I know streams aren't for everyone, so I'm going to keep some things just for YouTube and do my best to keep everyone updated on the progress we make on stream as part of the episodes. Speaking of, the choices we made this past week are going to require some things to change. And actually, I've changed my mind about pretty much everything. Before we get to that, let's pay off the whole point of episode one and actually move out of this starter base. At least mostly. What'd you say to some progress? Uh, this is not going to do. This ought to do the trick. Now, where were we? All right. Progress. Bye, old friend. And hello, potential. Now, about that change of plans. Bear with me just a sec here, okay? This is the first iteration of the base design, made before I had any firm grasp on the upcoming scale. There are a few things that did make it to the final design, like the little area for distilled bees and the fuel generation right below that, but the base we're working with doesn't look much like this. In version 2, it's a little closer to what exists in the world, right? Especially this part. But after I sat on the plan for a few days, it started to feel too symmetrical for me to spend the next 1 to 2,000 hours in, Though the symmetry does have advantages. So here's where we landed. More like a campus, with plenty of space in between builds to develop atmosphere, space to expand, playing in the terrain, and the shape of the landscape. I'm feeling super pumped about this design. It's going to let us put the whole biome to use. That's going to be important. Because when we went to the end during the live stream last week, we didn't come back alone. Here's a quick clip from one of last week's live streams to set us up. It's like the thing that was Here it is. The energy absorber. This is like a free amp of EV power. We could just give it the dragon egg. That's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, the Grandmaster Energy Absorber. I mean, how that seems silly not to use, right? We should use it. And I think we I mean I don't think we have the research for it yet, but I think we're probably not far away. Artifice. 
I bet it's a uh, and dragon eggs from. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's that is crazy. I hadn't thought about that. We were so preoccupied with whether or not we could, we didn't stop to think if we should. They had opened a portal to another dimension, to the end of space and time. In their quest to push the boundaries of industrialization, they had turned to the dark arts. Their fate was already sealed. They had only to realize it. The locals gave their warnings, telling the interlopers their hunger for energy, their thirst for power, would have a price. They didn't listen. They slayed the guardian of the portal. Direct. Yes! Direct! And bathed in the essence of absolute power. The way home was revealed, but something was different. Darker. Somehow. Corrupted. The Earth had taken notice, and it was fighting back. All right, we're here in a creative copy of the world. I'm spending a lot of time here, and I'm really, really excited about how it's turning out. I just couldn't help but lean into the lore a little bit. Hope you enjoyed that. Everything here is just for ideas and inspiration. Nothing is signed and sealed or in its final spot, but this notion that we push technology too far and the Earth is striking back is one I really like, especially for this pack. Let me know what you think and comment below. What's the one word that comes to mind to describe this? It'll help me gut check how well the vibe's translating. Now. In order to build this out even close to how we're turning in creative, we need to start by investing in some more industry. I decided to solve the glass problem with the good old fashioned four chambers. All that is LV, just added to our lathe setup since we had plenty of cobble there. Something tells me the further we push things, the more harshly the world will respond. Hopefully the earth doesn't mind just a little more tech, but I'm already paying for what I've done since I haven't found a way to automate biomes of plenty trees at all, and that's basically all I'm using here. No grind is too great for this project though. I'm up for it. You know what I miss already? The steam oven. It's probably past time for the multi-smelter anyway. There we go. We also need the Celestis Bee, or we'll spin ourselves out of house and home trying to get neon strips. This is the breeding path. We have a couple of these at the bottom already. Iron, copper, tin, and peat. I used the rural bee after all, if you remember that from episode one. But there's a bunch more work left to do here. That's something we'll definitely tackle this week. I just can't wait to start this project in survival. You might also notice some upgraded bags. Well, there's a little bit of a story with these. Let's take a look. Uh, most of this is trash. Really, the only thing we need is this jacaranda leaves.
bed empty. Do we have rings? Nah, we can make a couple rings. We do have tan leather, great. Bring me. I upgraded this black bag because this is my Greg set. Greg Tech bag. I said this earlier. I could not believe the size of this bag. What an insane bag. I remember from... Yeah, oh my god. Alvieri's are crazy expensive. <laughs> but after a while, though, at this point, they'd be very inexpensive for me to craft because I have so much honey um, and seed oil's been going for so long. I, I set that up really, really early. But I recommend that highly if you haven't done that already. Uh, oh, wait, we need to do the stainless steel one first. Oh, thanks for the follow, Diddy. Thank you kindly. All right, that's the one. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I thought it deleted everything out of your bag when you did that. I almost had a heart attack. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. My oblivion frames are in there. Oh. oh. I need to recover from that. That was so scary. <laughs> oh. Now we all know. Now we all know. It, you do not need to empty the bag. I literally shift clicked like a jabron. Oh my gosh. That's the one I wanted. Yep, that was me almost ruining the build. <laughs> no harm, no foul. Before we go nuts building, let's take a look at what we're building towards. We're here at the start of EV, really just about to start scratching the surface of what this pack has waiting for us. There are a couple of big goals for us here. We've got Quantumize, Circuits, as always, which means Epoxy and a bunch of other cool chemistry. The knockoff plat line, Tungsten, which might explain why we finally went to the end. And ultimately, the Tier 2 rocket and trips to new planets. To do all that, we need lots of stuff, and to have lots of stuff, we need room for lots of stuff, and to support lots of stuff, we need lots of power. The c line here should get us where we need to go, even if we need to scale up the bees a bit, but we're also at the point where we have access to nuclear reactors. I think both of these fuel options fit the theme of the world perfectly. Mother Earth is watching. Looking out a little further, we're going to need thorium in large quantities, it seems. The radon loop we need for quantumize requires plutonium-239 which from what I can tell is either going to come from thorium as fuel for a nuclear reactor or centrifuging uranium-238 for a tiny chance. I think we'll try the centrifuge route for now. We can always get more thorium. Nuclear reactors are in the plan, but I need to brush up on reactor design first. It's been a while, and I'm sure there are some tricks to discover in this pack. I don't think we don't want to discover those accidentally. There's really only one thing I didn't change my mind about. I love this pack. And hey, stay positive out there.